So you may have heard the rumors in my head that I'm going to attempt to make a little teddy bear. Well, rumors are true. And here is my little teddy bear. It's uh, not great by any means, but I'll show you how to do it. And then you can uh, work on it and hopefully bring some of your own, own artistry to the table. Because <laughs> this is, <coughs> excuse me, not a strong point of mine. But I'll show you how I made little uh, Derek here. This is Derek. Alright, and my camera is mounted above, so I know you get weird angles, but you can see through my fingers a little better. Here, Derek, you scoot to the side right there. You can watch me make Derek girl. Um, start. We're going to start off with a leg, so I have a little ball of clay. Here, I need to scooch. So, here's my, here's my ball of clay. I'm going to condition it. All right, whatever ball of clay. This is for actually you. You need um, enough for two legs. So um, I'm using Sculpey by Studio or Studio Sculpey. I've never used it before except last night on this bear. It's it's squishy and kind of reminds me of Sculpey three. Um, it's mushy. Catherine's coughing in there. She's been sick. Bronchitis. No fun. Um, but it's uh, February 2011, so I'm sure she's over it by the time this video gets uploaded. Anyway, here is Sculpey. I'm using one of one square each of these for the legs. If, if you don't have the squares already separated, what you want to do is take one big ball of clay. You're going to condition it. You're going to roll it out uh, to make it like this. What you, to, to make the arms and legs pretty well even, take your clay that you're going to use for both um, arms or both legs and then cut it exactly in half. And then you'll have the same amount for both um, limbs. And that's how you, you make them more even. So, for the little legs, <coughs> you can see here, here's our little leg flat on the bottom, this little tail. Okay, we're going to do... Oh, goodness. Okay. I'm going to roll out the little worm. You know, roll on one side because your foot is going to be here. Start rolling like this. Then you can shape it. And I've got, see, i got my fingernail in there. I'm just going to have to rub it till it goes away. And they hold... This particular clay holds fingerprints really easy. Now you're going to use a couple things we don't usually use for clay food and one of these things is um, you're going to need at least like three toothpicks little wooden toothpicks out of your kitchen. Break them in half. Your teddy bear, my teddy bear isn't, isn't that big. It's going to be sticking halfway in the leg and halfway in the body. Since we're doing the leg first you're going to go ahead and stick it in the leg now before you shape it a whole bunch because it is getting squished. I mean, it, it squishes out of shape pretty easy. You can still work with it in there. So you have your little foot. And then I took, um, for, I need a lighter brown clay, but I don't have one. So what I did was I took some white clay and the clay that I'm using, the brown color that I'm using, um, and I mixed it together really, really well and came up with a lighter brown, a lighter shade of brown. And it matches perfectly because it is from that brown. And I'm going to cut out a little circle for the pad of the foot. And it'll go around the mouth and you'll have one for the other foot. So, And these circles are actually, this oval is the same circle. I use the same exact circle cutter. I just bit it with my fingers up here. So I have my Kemper cutter that I got off of eBay. Don't know where else to get them. They're not, at, they're not at Hobby Lobby. This is a paper cutter. See? Right there. Shoves it out. So I take my round thing. Oh, and I rolled this out on the pasta machine. Um, I think on a number four. And I have an Atlas pasta machine. But just not the thickest one is the thing. You don't want it ultra thick. Um, and you know what? Let's see. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to put this right on the pad of the foot. And then I have rolled out, I have some pink clay, and I have a heart Kemper cutter. 
and all you know, how do you know what if it's the right size? You want the heart to go on that circle. So you take your round one and take your heart one, put it right there. You kind of you can eyeball it, and you know that these two are going to work together because I have you know they come in different sizes. So make your heart, pop it out. Get your little heart on your foot and make your foot exactly like you want it to look. I think I want more of a foot here. There we go. And make two of these and go bake them. Yes, you heard me right. Bake them now. Next I'm going to start working on the head. In the head I'm using about one and a half of these blocks. Um, if you have uh, Sculpey by Studio and then get that all conditioned and a teddy bear head is a weird shape it's kind of like a kind of like triangle but then you have this the eyeball spot you don't want it that pointed <laughs> that's not a teddy bear <laughs> not even close <laughs> let's try again <laughs> <clears throat> well, take your little teddy bear head, gently squeeze it back here, try and get this here, and kind of around it. You want to we're going for cute in this case, not like grizzly bear. We're looking for, oh, how cute. That's what we're wanting. Take your little guy like that. Your little eyeballs are going to go right there and right there. I like to use my pointer tool, one of them, yeah, I can't find the one I usually use, but we'll go with this one, and make the eyes quite low, I'm doing this upside down for you, sorry, make them, don't put them way up here, big babies and the cute, cute kids, they have big foreheads and their eyes are way down here, now on the furthest point, this is going to be where the nose is going to be, so you can kind of put, okay, the nose is there, eyes are going to be right down here I know it looks funny but trust me big forehead is cute so I'm using some seed beads and I don't have black um, so he's gonna have green eyes and this other little guy has green eyes too but then I painted black inside because the middle of these are uh, white and <laughs> he looked like he was crazy uh, these beads are oh there goes my phone hold on all right, here we have the little eyeball, and I have a couple of beads. And I've I've put my eyes where I think they should go. You know, I put little marks in there so I know. Now I'm going to try not to squish the back of the head, and I'm gonna try and wiggle this little eyeball down there. And I'm squishing the top of the head. Ugh. Oh, this clay is so squishy. Oi. Now oh, my eyeball's sticking. Okay, see how he looks kind of possessed? After we bake him, I'll put a little acrylic paint. Well, actually, probably before I bake him, because I gotta... We're gonna layer bake this little little guy. <coughs> Man. Alright, here's our light brown clay. And I'm gonna take another circle out of it with my Kemper cutter. Gee, gee, you have a circle there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I have a circle. Well, you just take it and you kind of pull it apart. And then I put it on my finger and I roll my other finger around on the outside edges. And that makes the edges nice and they taper down instead of going uh, straight, you know, like straight down. I'm going to put this right here. This is a little mouth area. I know, it looks funny. Just go with it. Okay. <clears throat> so you have this here. You have a teeny piece of clay, of black clay. So roll it into a circle. Roll it a tiny bit long way so you have a nose. Put your nose right on the tip there. And then you can use a toothpick or whatever you have. We're going to make a, a little line straight down. And then I'm going to do a little mouth.
and he's just kind of looking straight. He's he's just a little innocent bear. And we're gonna do oh, we're gonna lose our camp cutters. We're gonna do really sweet little eyebrows. Let me see if I can do this upside down. See like this, kind of high up, and there's one, and then you go, eh, eh, just like that. Put the little bugger over. Go, eh. Oh, there. There's my little... Now his head lopsided. He's kind of got a squishy back. Now I have my little ear. And you just take a ball of clay. And I put. I kind of make a triangle, a soft triangle. Bend the corners a little bit. And then I have a... Use a pencil or something. Or a pen that's round. And go like that. Right inside the ear to round it. That's going to be the front. We're going to put this right about let's see it's upside down to me so I'm trying to do it right alright we have one ear and I have the other one already ready to go okay and there's my other ear and then I have a little ball of pink I'm going to stick right down in the front on both sides How you doing, Catherine? Good. <clears throat> good, good, good. And now, I'm going to use my dental tool to squish this pink down in there. Kind of squish it all around. Okay. I'm going to go on the edges and try and get it to attach without ruining my clay. Like I said, this clay is so squishy. He is picking up every single fingerprint, every little squish everywhere. It's really difficult. That's why I love Primo. Primo is Primo wonderful. It's a lot harder. But it holds all your little shapes. It doesn't just squish apart, which drives me nuts. Okay. Um... There you go. Here is your little dude. Take a toothpick. <clears throat> you are not going to need a full-size toothpick. So cut the little puppy in half. I always like to put the dull end in the first part and put it just about in the center. And I twist gently and I'm still making more fingerprints, which is really making me mad, but I got to do it. Okay, so I made my little hole. I'm going to take this toothpick out because I want to bake him flat. I'm going to put him in the same pan with the oven pan that I'm baking with the uh, legs. And I'm going to go bake those for 15 minutes. And I'll be back. So, these came out of the oven. They've cooled down and I'm ready to go. These are nice and hard now. See? And now I won't lose all my beautiful little work that I've already done on it. And this has this and these poking in here. Now, for the uh, head where I baked it flat and I want to put this in, use a dab of super glue. Dab it in there and it will stay and it won't come off. It'll be in there for good. Okay, so we have the legs and the head and I have the little uh, chunk of clay for the body. And we're going to uh, we're gonna need, uh, what do we do first? Legs? We'll probably do legs. Well, maybe do the head. I don't know. Well, all right, you have the body here. We condition the clay. See how that makes you just want to puke? Because you see my hands move everywhere. I was going crazy. So I'm going to, this this finger, oops, this finger here is the top of the back. And I'm going to make the leg holes down here. And I'm going to press down the little tummy. The, the top part of the body is going to be smaller. You want his little booty to stick out right here. See the little tushy? And he, you want his tummy to stick out. Because, well, even though it's a girl, it's a teddy bear. So she's all snuggly. And then you're going to have the two legs right here. No, you don't hear video games in the background. You don't at all. Those are That's an imaginary uh, sound there. Anyway, so since I can take this off, I can just kind of measure and see, like, oh, okay, this is what the body looks like. And then this one that I did really quick on camera, we're going to pretend that this one that I took a long time to do is actually that one. <laughs> pretend with me, okay? And so... We're going to look at the hole, if it's centered, does that look good? Yes, it does, so stick this in here. Remember, you can glue that. 
and we're gonna Uh oh well first of all you probably want to measure make sure that it goes down and this is actually a tiny bit too long so I'm gonna use my teeth and break off the very tip aren't I bad <clears throat> I'm in trouble now and then I'm going to come on little bear there you go all right now I have an arm an armless and legless little teddy bear and I'm going to take my little legs and put you there, put you there. And I see the, I kind of made the toes. That kind of looks like that side. So, alright, I'm going to go like this. And you need to sit up straight. Work on your posture, would you, little bear? And so I have one leg here. And... Alright, and then I can... Um, I can kind of squish the body around to make it look however I want, go around the legs more, stuff like that. So I know the legs look really long right now, don't worry about it. Now I have my little arms and all I did was take one piece of clay, cut it in half, rolled it long and then I'm going to squish the back, this goes behind his back, and gently squish his little paw pad. And then this will go right here and then his little arm will come around. And actually move it forward just a little bit. There's the one little arm. And two little arms. Get your head back there. And then she needs a little tail. So I'm taking a little tiny ball of clay and sticking it right on her little rear end. Right there. And you're going to want to work with it. Don't just dab it on there because it will probably fall off. I don't know. And you can blend that. Get a blending tool, toothpick, or whatever you use. You can blend it in. I don't know if you can see, but my fingerprints are all in there, so it doesn't look real good. But um, because it's a cartoon-type bear, I'm not going to worry too much about it. I am going to worry about these legs. I want them to come up closer to my hard hardened clay. So... I'm going to kind of really shove them in there and try to push the top of the back and not the little butt because the top can go in and it looks good but the butt if you mess it up then you lose the little tushy and he doesn't look like a teddy bear so cute and let me look at my other bear yeah 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 did I show you the ears yeah we did the ears okay and the little feet yeah 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 all right so that's it there's your I mean you bake this I would I baked it for the first time for 15 minutes and I would go back and I would bake it for probably another 20 25 minutes just to make because that body it needs to be solid and inside the legs they should have baked for about 30 minutes and they only got 15 so about 30 more minutes oh <clears throat> that's the thing I'm forgetting the little eyeballs if you have white inside your beads I'm taking black paint and shake it up so that it's on my head. this is acrylic paint you can do this before or after you bake it, it doesn't really matter. I'm using a needle, just a regular needle. You're in my clock, by the way. And I'm going to touch right inside there and there. And I make sure that the holes are still there because um, it looks better. So then it looks like he has little black eyes, or she. And there you go. There's the little girl. And the little boy, yeah, he's still drippy wet. Let me put him next to it. Me? Aww. That's what I forgot. Duh. Man. These snow days. I forgot the heart. <clears throat> Take the little heart. That's not it. There we go. Take a little heart. Go like that. Get yourself a little heart. Put it on here. Hey, hey, her. All right, there. Now, now she's done. And then there's the little boy. I glazed him with triple thick. That's why it's all shiny, but it also helps act like a glue. So you could you can either glaze it or not. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you. 